Hi everyone, welcome back. Um, today I just want to share with you guys a really cute bag that I recently did acquire and it is this bag right here, which is the Coach Tabby Messenger 40 in the patchwork. And I'm just going to highlight some details in here and just do some quick walkthroughs with the bag. And yeah, that's going to be about it. So if you're interested in today's video, stay tuned. And just for full disclosure, I do currently work for Coach as a sales associate. Um, but if you guys, you know, like these kind of videos, please do consider liking and subscribing. You can also follow me on Instagram and TikTok too for more handbag related content. So when it comes to the Tabby Messenger 40, as you can see, it is definitely a big handbag, which is why I'm seated a little bit further from the camera so the whole bag is in frame. But it is a very big bag and it is also really fun as well with these different, um, patches i lost the word there for a minute um but it has these really fun patches throughout the bag so as you can see they're all in these fun different colors so i want to say this is like flower pink ox blood pool blue i want to say this is like maybe the sunset color um there's ox blood here on the side the forest green and it's just those colors repeated throughout the bag which is really pretty and they also did play with texture too which i really like so especially the back here there is the suede panel in the green and then the smooth leather as well. So it's really cool how they're able to combine different textures with the smooth leather throughout the bag. And it gives it a really unique look. And I also love the idea that they um, did with the bag strap too, is that they also color blocked the strap as well. So I think that's such a unique um, look to this bag. And it's really cool when you carry it. On the back of the bag it also has a slip pocket as well and it goes to like the bottom of the bag which is really nice because it is a really generous like back slip compartment here and again it is magnetic so when you do you know lightly close or try to close the back here it does like close by itself which is really nice and then it is lined in microfiber as well so you can kind of see the um light beige color here that is the microfiber material and it's a really soft material as well and it's on both sides so this side of the pocket and the side as well. The bag itself does feature adjustments on the shoulder strap, so you can make it as long or as short to your desired length. Right now I'm using the middle setting, which is good for both crossbody and over the shoulder for me, and it is also in silver hardware as well. And it's not a very shiny silver hardware. It's a little brushed, so it's not like super high polish. It's a little more subdued, which I really like. Going into the inside of the bag, it does feature a little C logo on the front, and this is actually where the closure of the bag is. And for this particular style, it does have the leather cover detail on the C, which I think is a really cool touch. And then on the inside here, it does have a pocket. And I like how they did the color blocking here. Instead of just doing solid blue and green, um, they decided to split the colors on the flap, which I think is kind of cool. So there's also additional touches of pink and yellow. And it is a snap button closure and it's a very generous pocket as well. And it is gusseted so you are able to fit a lot of items in here. And it will definitely, I believe, hold like an iPad or at least an iPad mini will fit in here comfortably. And then on the inside main compartment and flap, it is going lined in microfiber. And I forgot to mention too, this will also be a microfiber material for the front pocket. But as you can see, it is a very spacious bag and is one compartment as well, which is really nice. Um, there is a back zip pocket and then on this side you do get a little slip pocket with an additional little um, button and yeah that's gonna be basically it for the bag it's super spacious for me some other little details i forgot to mention about the bag is number one there is a little d-ring here on the side which is where the hang tag um stays so you are able to definitely decorate your bag if you'd like with bag charms or you can add extra hang tags as well if you'd like and then on the back here, um, it is going to be plain because the front says Coach New York. This one here doesn't have any additional embossing on the back, so you can definitely get your um, monogram on here if you'd like. And another cool detail too is that throughout the bag, there is the classic Coach leather binding detail that wraps around the bag. So you notice here on the flap, it is going to be this leather detail that wraps around the flap and the front pocket here and on the back as well. So I think that's a really cool coach detail that they do on the Tabby Messenger bags. And I think on this one it looks really cool because the slight brown um, leather here highlights all the colors that are in the bag. So I think it's a really beautiful touch. And it ties in too with the um, leather trim underneath the shoulder strap. So when it comes to the Tabby Messenger bags, I love these bags a lot, and I would say that this is probably one of my favorite styles right now. So my overall first impression of this bag, 
off the bat is I love it already but I think what makes it more unique and different from the other two that I have in the solid black pebble leather and the denim in the brown signature is that this is obviously in a really beautiful fun colorful patchwork and I've been obsessed with the version that was on the runway and that one had I believe more panels of white and black leather just because they did it from or they designed the bag from recycled leather trench coats. So they were able to integrate some of those cooler designs that were on those ready to wear garments. So things like buttons, for example, or zippers, they were able to add that into the designs of the runway bags. But obviously for production, they made something a little more streamlined, but also very fun and colorful as well. So I love all the different color panels here that they've done with the bag. And I like that they've had a combination of like, you know, the smaller panels, but also the larger ones too. I think it's just a really fun bag overall. Something that really did surprise me about this bag is that it was a very lightweight bag when I got it out of the box. Um, I was expecting it to be a little bit heavier, but it actually is a super lightweight handbag. And I think that has to do with the leather that Coach uses. It is a really soft and supple, um, smooth leather. I'm not sure if it's like a nappa leather of some kind, but it does have a very soft, silky hand feel when you touch it. Um, and I also, again, love the suede patches throughout. So I think the overall use of the materials combined might, you know, help this bag be very lightweight. And in addition to that, it just doesn't have a lot of hardware either, other than the clasp here on the front and then the little D-ring on the side and maybe, you know, the buckles and grommets. But other than that, this bag doesn't have that much hardware on it either. So again, with that in mind, it probably helps, you know, make the bag not as heavy. So that's just like one thing I was like pretty surprised about. Last thing I'll note too really fast is that when it came to the tie must oh yeah, I'm also putting on this pillow because my hand hurt, so it's right here. Um, but the last thing I'll note really fast is that when it came to the patchwork collection, it was designed specifically for Japan and it's for one of their really famous department stores, I believe. And I did have a person that I know that lives in Japan and I did reach out to her and she was so grateful enough to help me acquire this bag. So I'm very grateful for her and she knows who she is. She also bought a really amazing bag from this collection as well. It was um, rather beautiful as well. And yeah, I'm really grateful that, you know, she helped me get this bag. And what's even more crazy is that I was expecting to receive this bag in a span of like two weeks because it's from Japan but I got this bag in four days and I just do do I still do not understand how that even happened like it's from the other side of the world and the bag made it here in like what 90 something hours so that's very crazy to me um but yeah other than that I think that's gonna do it for today's video over this really beautiful bag so yeah so that's the for today's video over the Tabby Messenger 40. Um, if you guys have any more questions about this cute bag, just leave a comment down below and I can try to help you out. Or you can also message me on Instagram as well and I can help you out that way. Um, but if you did like today's video, please do consider liking and subscribing. And you can also follow me on Instagram too for more handbag related content. But other than that, guys, have a great rest of your day. Bye!